Hey guys, it's Amber, and I'm getting ready to unbox Heidi Swap's brand new Halloween collection for 2022. So this year it came in this final pouch, which is cool, helps keep everything organized. And last year she did a six by eight sized album, which was really more like seven and a half by nine inch papers. But I went ahead and opened the papers a little bit so it'd be easier for us to look at together here. And first off, we have this really cool um, one with all of her handwriting. Heidi Swap's handwriting is just like so iconic. So I love that. You could try to cut some of these out. I'm not sure how easy it would be, but it would just make a fun background paper. It's got the October 31 down here. And on the back is like, oh, there's two of everything. So I believe there's like at least 20 sheets in here, I think. Um, there's orange and cream pattern on the back. We've got this cool kind of fall turquoisey teal color with these spider webs. It's got some distressing on it, which I always love with her papers. Um, it's got this black and cream kind of plaid. I'm not sure what kind of plaid that is to be honest with you. We've got that same teal color again here with the distressing and the scripty font, which looks cool. So something about night. And it's got like some handwriting on there. On the back of that one is these doors. And then this one is uh, light orange on dark orange triangles. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a jack-o'-lantern with the eyes and the color, of course. And on the back is, looks like some cutout options. Um, <clears throat> so like you could, this is all just uh, words. <laughs> it's all just a bunch of hocus pocus, which is wanted. At this point, my blood type is pumpkin spice. So read through these. There's some really cute ones. So that you could cut apart. Here we've got another striped plaid style here, cream with some yellow distressing. It's like a fabric kind of material background there. And on the back is like spooky trees, look all foggy. Here we have a cream and orange polka dot. And on the back of that one's kind of like a candy cane stripe, not candy cane, candy corn stripe, I mean, with like the orange and yellow and white. And we have some like big block text. These you could definitely cut out if you wanted to, to create some different fun titles or just let it be a cool background. And on the back here, we have labels. What's awesome about this is you never see labels this big. So like the biggest one here, this one's like just about six inches. This one's like over six and a quarter. Like that's pretty awesome because you never see labels. So that one you could definitely cut apart. This one's like a gray, moody, cloudy, foggy kind of pattern here. And then on the back, we've got a cream and black stripe. Here we have a cream skull and crossbones with some orange distressing. And on the back is like a close up of like a wood texture piece. And then the last sheet here is like stars and um, black on white constellation y kind of stuff. And then a tan ledger on the back. So quite a bit of paper there to use. I'll slide that in here. We'll go through all these embellishments. So one of the things I got, I'll start with this. Um, I bought an extra pack. One comes with two in your main kit that you buy, if you buy the main kit. Um, and it's a pre-made photo flip waterfall on like a black cardstock. So the back is see not quite six and a three quarters by four inches so you could put a four by six on here and the smallest is four and an eighth by four so you could you know have it go vertical you could have it flip down if you wanted to left or right but just a really fun way and flat and pre-made way to add a photo waterfall so two come in there I ordered an extra two just because they were fairly inexpensive for what they are and um, in case I wanted to add something into my December daily, they have um, black in that kit this year so I thought that would look cool. Let's do the bigger stuff and then we'll do all the little things. So there are some transparencies that come in this kit. These are small size, they're not six by eight. They are five and a half by eight. And so we've got two of the spider web and two of like the spooky tree acetate. So that's cool. So 
four total. For some reason I was thinking one of them was vellum, but they are definitely all acetate. And here we have the large tags. These were about the same size, yeah, so five by eight. So at least slightly less wide. So we have this one. I love this one with the, the writing and then her hand her handwriting and then all the fun words. So there's four. There's two in like an old paper style, different tones. One with the moths, butterflies, and then this. And what's great about these is that like if you wanted to put two of them back to back with like an insert, um, then they're already like pre-sized and ready to go. Or you could obviously put a photo on the back. They're really generously sized, which is fun. You want different sizes in your album so that everything's not exactly the same. That's what makes it interesting, right? These are like a photo slider or like anything you want really. But there's three of them that come in this pack and you can pull this out, which is cool. So you could put like two different photos on here or a photo and like stamping or journaling. So one in tan, one in orange and one in black. Then we have stickers here. I'm not gonna pull these out. These are actually all individual letters. Kind of like reminds me of like older um, making memories or something, I'm not sure. But we've got spooky, happy Halloween, eek, trick or treat, and beware. So that's single-sided there. And then we have photo corners, which Heidi's always super known for. So we've got the black, like the, like a hay yellow kind of color, like a deep yellow um, text, which is about, I can't really even tell, just random text. <laughs> We've got some die cast labels. <clears throat> so we've got some labels here. Looks like there are six different colors of that style. And then we have these. This is not punched out, but you could punch that out yourself. And it looks like these are in the same colorway. So there should be six. Yep, so six of that one. And then we have these, which it kind of looks like a little Polaroid, sort of. Six of that one. And this is like a build your own ticket. So, like, so you could stamp on here, add a photo or something. Um, and it looks like there are six of those as well. So that's really fun. And they're all cream based, except this is white and this is white. And they are matte. So you should be able to just um, write on them with like a normal pen. Got die cuts next here. So we've got trick or treat, arsenic poison, got some label stuff going on here. We got a moth tag, another like fancy label. We've got skulls and pumpkins, lots of bats. We've got a ghost, we've got some candy corn, we've got a little moon here, we've got another moon, another skull and crossbones, more ghosts. These are really cute. They're all a little bit different. More bats. We've got two black cats. Those are adorable because they're actually smiling and happy. And we've got Witch's Brew from the Salem Bottling Company. That's cute. We've got a Witch's Hat here. Another candy corn and an October 31st. So it's a really fun die cut pack. And then we have the Isabellum Ghosts. I believe she said there's like 20 or something in a pack. Let me pull something over so you can see them better than on my white desk, hopefully. Um, so they have different like faces and they you can make them go different directions, obviously, based on what you need. And there's some really large ones too. They're so cute. Um, maybe not 20. One, two, three, four, 12. There's 12 in here. Um, but yeah, I kind of am envisioning like a huge, like an acetate piece with ghosts all over it. Kind of like using them like all in one shot maybe, which is not something I normally do, but they're really cute. I think that would be fun. 
So last, oh, we have two things left, actually. I'll get all those back in a packing minute. So we have two vellums here. Oh, so we have two washi tapes. One is Caution Keep Out. And this one is a black skull and crossbones. And then we have these black die cuts. So we've got a couple haunted ha um, mansion scenes. We've got some windows, more bats, some moths, black cat. Uh, these are the, s the windows of the, the punch outs for that, which is actually really helpful if you were trying to cut things to go behind there, you have a stencil basically. So that's kind of nice. Got a rat, got another black cat, got a moth, another rat, <laughs> spooky bird, like a crow, more rats. Ugh. Let's see, we've got tons of bats, another, more crows, moths. So there's quite a few in there. And it's like a nice thick cardstock too. So it'll hold its shape. You could do something really fun with this, maybe where like you put it on a little piece of paper and it like folds down or something, who knows. Yeah, so that's the collection, really fun. Um, and just a reminder that I will be sharing videos every single day um, when I do process videos for my October daily album. If you're interested in looking at my 2021 one, uh, that is all by YouTube channel. I will do like an intro video of the products I'm planning to use this year and then I'll start sharing from there. So hope you uh, want to subscribe, then you'll be automatically notified when I post that new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.